Can you see me? Can you hear me? Am I even recording? Let me check. Okay, yeah. You know, I have this um this big fuzzy boom microphone and it's covering up the lens so I'm I can't see myself. Oh goodness. Hello lovebirds. Tanya TKO here. And right now I'm on the sunny island of Nevis. I'm gonna give you all a um a roundabout in just a moment. You know what? I just realized I haven't had breakfast yet. It's a little early in the morning. Um, the sun comes up a little after 5, I'd say maybe 5.40 or so. And then I went out jogging this morning, came back, and I, I there was something about today I wanted to make a video. I've been wanting to make a video for some time, especially, you know, and, and I feel like my time is like ticking away. Today's video is going to be about um, something that was on my heart and mind about people who like times okay like people who mistreat us misuse us abuse us oftentimes we think that there's something wrong with us let me pull up my shade so you can see it's pretty sunny out here oftentimes we think something's wrong with us and um and in fact there is the problem lay within that person i'm going to give you before you know what i was going to do the roundabout in the beginning of the video but i'll do that at the end of the video so i can get the message of the video out and then those who want to see the surroundings can see the surroundings i'm at my at my father's house now which is still under construction i'm going to show you i'm sitting on a cinder block right now but i'm going to show you that after i finish making my point okay you all know I go away every year for my birthday and um, and it's a great for the for the month of my birthday for the whole month of August you know I spend every year out someplace new and so this year I'm spending it in Nevis um, I'm on my father's property and there's something about when birthdays come around that just makes you reflect on life and you know I, I have access to the internet so I'm still getting people who are writing to me about different things and um, and it dawned on me how when people abuse us that the problem is theirs, not ours. Let me see, how long have I been recording? How long? Oh, only two minutes? Okay, we're good, we're good. <laughs> the problem is really theirs and I wanted to show you all my camera. This is my Canon T2i, it's a Rebel. This camera was, the body of the camera was $700 and this lens right here is $700 as well. So this is about $1,400 worth of equipment that you see inside my hands right here. Now this is expensive. To me, I wouldn't want anything to happen to it. You know, um, and for some other, for a lot of people out there, this is tremendously expensive, right? Now, the example I'd like to give is I notice when, um, like sometimes I'll ask people to take a picture of me, you know, and I'll, I'll give them my camera and I'll show them how to, you know, which buttons to press, etc. And this is a, the reason why this lens is so expensive is because it's a, it's a 55, 250 mi millimeter. It's a wide, I'm going to show you the mountain of me that's in the background, but it's a, it's a, it's a zoom lens, right? So you see, so what people what some people do is they take my camera and they hold it by the lens part now the lens I'll show you it comes out see that's the way it looks on the inside there and so it's oh my microphone is falling the wind is blowing so hard right now but you probably can't hear it because I have on this fuzzy microphone thing see that it's called a dead cat okay so anyway so to me, I mean, it looks very tender in there to me. I mean, take a look at it. There's some sort of mirror, some sort of apparatus. Do you see that? I don't know if you can see inside there, but there's some sort of like mirror apparatus in there. And this lens, it looks very delicate and tender in there. So it's like me, you know, so I know, I know the, I know the, I know the components of my camera and I know what it is that makes this camera expensive and I know how much I spent on it. Right, and I know, and, and me personally, I mean, I've never taken any camera classes, so I'm not exactly sure of proper camera protocol, but I know for me, I don't want people holding my camera by the lens because it just, it seems like once this goes, like if that goes, the, the whole camera seems like it would be destroyed. But nonetheless, you know, I feel like I'm dragging on with my point, but just hear me out. Number one, I'm in the Caribbean, so I'm feeling really laid back anyway. So to get to my point, I notice when I give people my camera, they, I don't even want to do it myself, but they, they hold it by the lens and like, oh, I'll take the picture. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm like, hold it by the body. And they're like, oh, okay. And then, you know, then they go to take the picture or whatnot. So I wanted to ask you all, you guys see my, my sweet, innocent camera. 
if there's somebody who is mistreating or misusing the camera does that mean that there's something wrong with the camera no the camera is perfectly fine the camera is a perfect piece of equipment there's absolutely nothing wrong with the camera and if somebody abuses my camera if somebody mistreats the camera don't, doesn't hold it right that doesn't mean that there's something wrong with the camera the camera is perfect in and of itself so let me go to the next example all right let's say i told somebody okay don't hold it by the lens and and you know most people are like oh okay sorry 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 but let's say there is a person who's like hold it by the lens anyway what if there is a person who's doing that does that does still does that mean I mean this person is deliberately I've spoken to them, to them about it and they are deliberately continuing to do something that I told them that I do not want them to do to my camera to my equipment right does that still mean that there's something wrong with the equipment the fact that this person is misusing the equipment or abusing it or treating it in a way that I don't want it to be treated does that mean that there's something wrong with my camera no my camera is still perfect it's still a perfect piece of machinery right and so my I, and I hope you understand my main point when it comes to you and how people treat you if a person is abusing you not treating you how you want to be treated and then let's talk let's talk about that I'm gonna get into that in just a second but if a person is treating you in a way that you don't want to be treated in the person could a be ignorant or the person could be maliciously behaving in this manner because they either don't care don't want to care or there's something going on inside of them but still that does not affect the object which is being abused so let's go into my next point if you tell a person listen I do not want you to hold my camera like this and they are constantly holding it like that what do you, what do you at that point do you can't give them access to your camera and I make this point inside my videos a lot you know when I talk about how I do not negotiate with terrorists and how I don't I don't try to change people it's like either you treat me how I know I deserve it oh, hello. oh goodness this thing is about to fall Lord. I don't know can you hear the wind this is so crazy hold on let me put my camera down properly let me put this around my neck <laughs> so windy out here okay hold on <laughs> Do we got it now? Okay. All right. There we go. I hope you can't see nothing, right? Okay. Hold on. Excuse me. <laughs> All right. Wind is crazy. All right. So listen. Is it still recording? Yes, it is. Okay. So I mean, there's so much drama happening with the camera. Let me tilt it back out that way because I don't want all of the. Okay. Let's try again. What part was I up to? <laughs> okay if you can okay like when like when i talk about how i don't try to change like i don't try to change grown men grown women i don't do that it's like you either treat me how i know i deserve to be treated or i'm gone i don't stand up there you better do this you better. i don't do that you know i tell people how well i demonstrate how it is that i will be treated if you're not going to treat me like that i'm gone i'm ghost i don't sit around there enduring that abuse like oh maybe one day I mean if you you know what when you're in a relationship with a person right it becomes that person's duty they take it up when they agree to be in a relationship with you they they agree to be considerate of your feelings to for the relationship to be the thing that both people come together to work on so if you have a person who is not respecting your wishes in the relationship that is that's a that's a clear sign that there are some tremendous issues there I mean this, this is I mean this is their this is their job their duty in the relationship otherwise they don't need to be in the relationship and how many at after a certain amount of time if I'm constantly telling somebody don't hold my lens but don't hold my camera by the lens and if they continue to do that after a while you know remember I made that video are you a victim or a volunteer you know if I've already explained how I want my camera to be held and the person chooses to do whatever it is that they want to do how many more times do I give them my camera and still blame them for treating my camera that way that's why I say I'm gone I'm out of there I don't play those games I don't play those games and then let's go back to the very beginning remember I said I've never I haven't not taken a camera class for me personally I don't want my camera held like that I don't know if that's if that if that's okay if it's not okay for me it's not okay I know how much I pay for my lens 
me personally, I know how much I've invested in myself. I know what it is that I like. I know how I don't like to be treated, etc. And so if there's a way that I don't want to be treated, my personal space, my, my personal preferences, etc., you know, I let that be known. There are some things that are intrinsic in a person's faulty personality type. There's some people out there I, I, you know what, if you're not on my Facebook page or my Twitter page, please come over because it's so much easier for me to just tweet and, you know, do my little Facebook post while, while I'm away. And I did say, you know, how do you, it's like, how do you, how do you demand or even expect for a person to be a good parent, you know, a good parent if they haven't even demonstrated they're a good person, you know, and it's like, we have to make sure that we're working with good stock to begin with. You know, some people just have some severe issues that have nothing to do with you. And I hope I fully made my point in this video. I feel like there were some parts that I could have punctuated a little bit more, you know, but there's a, there's a, there's a lot going on, sun, wind, camera being held up by the cinder block, you know, so, <clears throat> so that's my whole video. If you need any more explanation in the comments, please do. I don't want the video to be too long because my internet, <clears throat> 11 minutes my internet connection here is not like the one in the state so it's going to take me quite some time <coughs> to get this video up but if i could surmise overall before i give you guys a roundabout view it's really so beautiful it's it's so beautiful here but if i could surmise all of my points i would say number one you have to know how you want to be treated. I know how I want to be treated because I know what it is that I've invested in myself. I did a video called Know Your Worth and I did several videos about self-esteem. In the video about self-esteem, I give a chart, a list of how to determine how you should be treated. Me personally, I know who I am and I, I know the sacrifices that were made for me to get to where I am right now. Sacrifices made by other people, people in my family, by myself, earth angels, sacrifices of teachers, administrators, just, oh, don't fall, don't fall. Oh, <laughs> let me put this camera down. You know, so, so that's number one. I know how I want it. So that's one, know how you want to be treated. Two, you know, me personally, and the, the point that I was making about the good person, good parent, or how can a person even be a good parent if they're a bad person, or you don't even know if they're a good person. The point that I was trying to make is, you know, I, when I say that I'm out, I don't play those games, I don't, it really depends. There are some issues that are in, interwoven into who that person is as a human being. You know, there could be some, like, you know, like, they, they listen, there are going to be no perfect men out there, no perfect women. Every person is going to have to learn how to, learn how to love you. I mean, we all have love to give but people are going to have to learn how to like me I can't take a lot of I, I can't take all that like cursing and all that other stuff I, I can't take that especially at nighttime like at night like everybody has an internal clock and rhythm you know now this is going to be something that that person may not know you know coming out the back I mean who knows I mean a lot of people who use a lot of different types of profanity and you know and I tell people this I can't like you know especially at nighttime I'm winding down like I have a cycle I wake up very early in the morning then come nighttime oh there's a dove a dove just flew right there <laughs> I, I, I have to show you guys the whole surrounding so like everybody has a cycle so that's gonna be something that you know people are not gonna know and speaking of cycle I mean I go crazy every 28 days I turn into a different person people on my Facebook notice it too because <laughs> I'm a woman Wait, like, what can I say you know so these are gonna be things that we're gonna have to that people have to learn about each other in relationships but there are there are some things that are so interwoven into who that person is as a human being like I got into a battle you know on Twitter the other day about paying paying for the first date now that type of stuff this type of stuff is like if a person has adopted the mentality that they are not going to pay for the first date they're expecting me to pay for the first date and all this other stuff an issue like that is so so profoundly just wrapped up into a lot of different things that this person has learned about life, himself, women, gender roles, feminine, feminine and masculine energy, and all sorts of things. There are a lot of different things wrapped up in that one issue. So there will be some things that I will have a conversation with the person. I cut 
caught it. I did. I caught it. This is, okay, we gotta get out the video in a, in a moment. This is not standing up anymore. Okay, we got it now? Please, stay still. You know, we're gonna, we're gonna wrap up soon. But I just, I just want, I wanted to make, I wanted to make my point. Oh, please, give me a break. You know what? I'm gonna put the mic into the middle of the center. I wish you could look at my, I'm gonna show you my setup right now. This is my setup where my, see my microphone is inside the cinder block now. <laughs> and that's where I'm sitting on a cinder block and some bucket of something, it might be some mortar or something, I don't know. But this is much better. I'm gonna do that again when I, when I go to make a video again in the future. Okay, this is so much better. I feel so much freer. Okay. <clears throat> So as I was saying, you know, there will be some things that I will have a conversation with a person about um, in terms of my personal preferences as a human being, but there are some things that are just so deeply, like there are like, uh, there are just some things that are just non-negotiable. Like whatever it is that got you to the point in your life as a, oh, this is a thing, as a grown man, because you know, there are, I want to look you in your eyes while I'm saying this. You know, men will constantly be like, don't change me, don't change me. I'm a grown man, I'm this, I'm that. They don't want to be changed. And I respect that, you know. So I don't, I don't, try, to, I don't try to change things about people that, like if it's a little minor little thing, like something that they can c control, like not using the profanity in my ear hole like that, you know, well, I'm, I'm not really... You know, the type of people that I hang around, that whole being extraordinarily profane is just not, I don't really have that problem very often anyway. But if this is a sticking point for a person, like if profanity is really that important to them and them not being profane is going to be changing who it is that they as a human being, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't mess with that. I leave that alone. I only, I only work with the things, you know, especially this 80-20. 80% of what you want, 20% of what you don't, of what you can work on, and then they have to be things that you're willing to work on, work on with that person. So, you know, these are things that you're going to have to know. Like, I, I, I was, you know, I feel like this video is becoming extraordinarily long now, but there are, there are some things I was talking about with the people on Twitter, like not being a morning person, like being really, 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 really grumpy in the morning, like, I hate you, I have to get my coffee and all this other stuff. You know, that's indicative of some larger health issues and some other, whole other issues. So, you know, you as a human being, you have to know what it is that you're willing to work on and with, with a person. But when it comes to who that person is as an individual, you have to pick your battle. Don't try to change people, male, female, don't try to, don't try to change people from who they are. And I said this on Facebook, come over and get my profound post. The, my Facebook page is facebook.com forward slash Tanya TKO show. And my Twitter is at Tanya TKO, and you know that's Tanya with an O, T-O-N-Y-A. And so, and I stated, you know, you know how difficult it is for you to change yourself even when you want to. You know, imagine how difficult from the outside it'll be to try to change another person when they don't want to. You know, so it's like, you have to you have to pick your battles and changing people is not a battle that I choose to pick. You know, I um <laughs> the thing that comes to mind is like this you remember that song Roll 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 Your Boat? One of my nieces is here with me, so we play that roll, roll, roll your boat gently down the stream and how you pull the person and they pull you back. Right? In life, you know, you kinda have to you kinda have to see how a person rolls, you know push pull a little and you see where where the, the extra tension lie the stuff that that you know is not going to not going to change that the people don't want to change that is a part of their personality and not just something extraneous on the on the on the periphery of who it is that they are you know so you just push and pull you kind of test the waters a little bit and you see okay is this something that's really important to this person you know is this person willing to have intercourse the way I'd like to have intercourse or are they are they you know I, I dated a guy who had this thing against bodily fluids it was so annoying it's like how do you have this thing against body fluids and you're sexually active you know th there's lots so many especially as a woman there are fluids coming from everywhere <laughs> you know so it's like you have to kind of 
test the waters and kind of see what is this person is this person open-minded is this person willing is this something that this person wants to kind of enhance because there are some things some people want to work on with themselves and that's why they get into relationships with people who are compliments because they're saying you know have a conversation is this something you're willing to work on and then see their actions this video has turned into so much more than I thought it was going to be so let me get out of here because now oh no 20 minutes let me just give you guys a quick roundabout. Right now I'm in Nevis. It's beautiful here. I don't know the, the temperature right now, but it's probably about 80. But the breeze makes it feel like 76. So here, let me just give you a quick, quick round. Okay. So this is my dad's property, the land right there up into the property line where you see the fence. And then if you see in the way, way distance that way, I don't know if it can focus, but way, way, way down there is the ocean. Do you see that? Oh. You see? There's a beach way down there. Right now, we're way, 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 way up in the mountains. And so you want to see some mountains? Check this out. Check this out. Look. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. And then there's Nevis. That's Nevis Peak right there. Disney, that's the, the big peak of Nevis, how Nevis got its name because when Christopher Columbus came here, he thought that was snow on top of the instead of clouds, so he called the, the island Nevis, and then Nevis was the name that just stuck. And so, and then it's just, it's just beautiful. There's a, a coconut tree in the distance. There's, if you guys have seen, see all that wind blowing? Because like up here in the mountains, up here in the mountains, there's just, there's so much breeze. And so now I'm giving you the back there. The whole house is still under construction. So, you know. So anyway, listen. I love you guys very much. We didn't hug, did we? Oh, goodness. Let's hug. Let's hug. <laughs> hug me. Uh, all right. <laughs> I love you all. Hug me. Oh, love, 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 love. Love, love, love. Okay. I took out my microphone. <laughs> so listen. Go out there and love one another. Most importantly, listen, most importantly, love yourself. And please communicate with me. Tell me what it is that you thought about the video. I know I rambled. Please forgive me for any of the rambling that I've done. You know, I'm feeling very, 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 very laid back. And so forgive any rambling I've done and tell me what do you think about the topic. You know, listen, if somebody's mistreating you, if someone doesn't know how to treat you or they don't treat you the way you want to be treated even after you've told them this is an intrinsic problem in them and now it's up to you to have the self-esteem and the self-worth to remove yourself from that situation to know I mean think about my example what would you do if you were giving somebody think about the most expensive thing you have I mean remember you how they say you can't pass pearls before pigs or diamonds before swine or however it goes I mean what value does a pig see in 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 diamonds does that mean there's something wrong with the diamonds hmm. that's food for thought honey did I give you all, all of my websites and stuff okay facebook.com forward slash Tanya TKO show twitter.com well it's Twitter Instagram and Pinterest which is at Tanya TKO and my main place um, where I communicate with everybody you can always stay in touch with me long after they try to suspend me on, on YouTube. <laughs> you can always come to my website which is TanyaTKO.com. I hope you can hear me even though my microphone is out right now because I'm using the camera mic and I know that it can get pretty windy. So anyway, um, TanyaTKO.com. Okay, and that's Tanya with an O. T-O-N-Y-A. You won't find me under Tanya. I'll be here for two more weeks, so I'll try to give you guys a walking tour while I'm here. I already did one of Nevis. You can search for Tanya TKO and the word Nevis. You can see a bunch of the videos that I've done here years ago. All right, so let me get out of here. I love you guys. Peace.